Today, we're gonna talk about hair, and I know, you're not used to seeing me like this. I never wear my hair back, ever. You're used to seeing me on Inside Edition with my hair smoothed and curled and looking fabulous and controlled. That is not how I get out of the shower. My hair, first of all, is my hair. It is not extensions, I do not do hair pieces. This is 100% real Latina hair, brothers and sisters, it's real. So let's start there. But how I get from how it grows in my head to how it looks on TV is a journey. So we're gonna take that journey today. A lot of you have asked me about this. I look at the comments and I try to read as many as I can. And the thing that I keep seeing over and over and over again is, is your hair real? Yes. And two, how do you get your hair to look like that? So for me, the answer is I do it once and then I don't wash my hair for three or four days. So typically I wash my hair twice a week and then I go through this big journey with how to get it to be camera ready and then I keep it like that for a few days. So that's the first thing to know. I do not wash my hair every day and do this whole process every day because it would be really damaging on my hair. Instead, when I'm not on camera, I just wash my hair and put good conditioner in it and then I just let it dry naturally and I don't touch it when I'm not on camera. Um, and then those are the pictures that you see on Instagram with me sometimes where my hair is really wavy. That's my natural hair. I know, right? So the first thing I'm gonna tell you is what the products are that I use. For a long time, I've been using Kerastase products and they're very expensive, they're really good, very rich, high-end products, Kerastase. And um, in this case, I'm using Discipline, which really helps unruly hair like mine. But they have all kinds of great products. So I use their shampoo and their conditioner, of course, in the shower. And then when I get out of the shower, I use a couple of other products, another Discipline product that you spray on. And then this is an elixir, um, the Ultimate Elixir. This is really good too. So I kind of use these after I get out of the shower. So another thing to think about when we're talking about products is that you don't have to use expensive products and you don't have to use them all the time. I switch things up. Just because I use Kerastase for the most part, I can also use other products. Dove makes really good shampoo and conditioner. And do you know why we know this? Because I did a recent beauty product test and you may have seen this already right here on my YouTube channel. If you haven't, then as soon as we're done with this, go back and take a look at that beauty product test. It was amazing, where we pitted high-end beauty products against drugstore beauty products and hair products. And Dove did really well against both Oribe and Kerastase. So don't overlook those inexpensive drugstore products. If they work for you, great. And they do work for me too. I also use Bumble and Bumble. So I really switch things up. For the most part, I use Kerastase. Um, and today we're gonna be using the whole Kerastase line just to keep it consistent. So I just got out of the shower. Um, so here is what my hair looks like. It's still wet. There we go. So as you can see, yes, it's all mine. It's my hair. No extensions, no pieces. It's not a weave. It's Latina hair and it's big and I got a lot of it. Um, it grows like a weed. Um, and I'm getting gray hair now, so I've got to color it on occasion and cover up the gray. And then in addition, I do highlights. So I've been doing more highlights than usual lately. I just think it brightens up on camera and gives me some dimension on camera. So um, I choose to do some highlights. So at any rate, okay guys, this is my natural hair. This is the state of affairs right now, which is not pretty. So we're gonna control my hair. The first thing I'm gonna do is shake up this Kerastase again. This is the Discipline Spray. And we're gonna spray this, and this is what you put on after you get out of the shower. And I've done the Discipline Shampoo and Conditioner. Rinse that out well. By the way, after I shampoo and condition my hair in the shower, I put the uh, shower temperature on cold. And I do a cold water rinse on my hair, and that closes the follicles. So that makes it smoother and shinier too. So do a cold water rinse when you're done with the shampoo and conditioner. Um, when you get out of the shower, uh, if you wanna use a post shower um, uh, conditioner, or leave on conditioner, something that protects your hair uh, from the blow dryer or from the curling iron or straightening iron, whatever you're gonna use, I would suggest this. 
And then I also use the Kerastase Elixir. Um, this is great stuff. It's like a little bit of a cream and I just use a tiny bit of it. You can see it's almost gone. Okay, and this is about all you need. Okay, that's it. That's the elixir. I just use a little bit of that. And then I put it on particularly on the bottom half of my hair. You know, the ends get really dry and very damaged. So put a tiny bit on the top, but the majority of it I put on the bottom. Okay, and then make sure you get it a little bit in the front. There we go. All right, so that is the process and the products that I use. Okay, Kerastase today, but um, I'm not gonna be snotty about what I use. I could use Dove. I could use, uh, I don't know, anything you get from the drugstore. Sometimes, you know I travel so much, I'm always in hotels, and sometimes I just use what's in the hotel room. You know how they have the little teeny shampoo bottles and conditioners? Sometimes I use those. So, you know, don't freak out if you can't afford the expensive stuff or you run out of your favorite stuff. Use what's available and what you can afford. It's all about technique, it's not just about the product. Okay, so we put all this stuff in the hair. Now I'm going to take one of these brushes. It's called a wet brush. And this is the kind of brush you use when your hair is still wet just to untangle it. It's a really gentle brush. I got this wet brush at uh, Dry Bar. I love going to Dry Bar because um, I'm lazy and I like to have somebody else blow dry my hair on occasion. So I got this at Dry Bar. When you brush your hair out, after you get out of the uh, shower, you start at the bottom and very gently work your way higher. You don't want to pull your hair really hard. You don't want to break and tear your hair. And this way I'm getting all that product that I just sprayed on, I'm getting it throughout the entire hair. So now my hair is detangled and what you're gonna see next, I'm warning you, it's not gonna be pretty. I'm going to what we call rough dry my hair. The only reason I have this brush is for my bangs. Otherwise, I'm not using a big round brush to actually brush out the sections because I'm gonna be a little bit lazy and do um, what I think is the easiest way to do my hair. And that is, I'm gonna rough dry it so it's gonna be really frizzy and fuzzy. And then I'm gonna take a wide barreled curling iron and I'm gonna go through every piece and that's how I'm gonna smooth it out and curl it, okay? So this is gonna come second. First things first, gotta blow dry this mess. And this is what we call rough drying. First, I'm gonna do the bangs to kind of get them under control because you know they're short and crazy here. Okay, so I just blew dry my bangs. Why did I do that separately? The reason why is they're so short and if they start to frizz when they're wet like this, it's gonna be harder to control them later. So I kind of get the moisture out of the bangs first and train them to go the way I want them to go. And you see that on camera, I usually have them go kind of to the side. Now, I go on and off with my bangs. I don't always have bangs. My hair grows really fast. But sometimes I take my bangs and I put them, push them into my hair so that it looks like I don't have bangs. Now I'm gonna rough dry my hair. Again, I warn you, it's gonna look bad, it's gonna look frizzy but just know this is part of the journey. This isn't the end of the journey. This is on the way to having fabulous hair. We're gonna have really bad hair for a minute. For the most part, I've got the moisture out of my hair. I concentrate on the root area because that's where you're holding the most moisture and the ends will kind of dry more naturally on their own. And again, the ends are really, really uh, delicate. They're more damaged. Again, the hair is older at the bottom and it's just a lot more uh, delicate. So I try not to blow dry the ends of my hair. I try to concentrate on the roots. So this is just really frizzy after um, rough drying my hair. The next thing I'm gonna do is take my hair and section by section, I am going to use a wide barreled curling iron and we're gonna control it. And typically I uh, part my hair 
on the side, about there, and my bangs are gonna go that way. So I'm gonna just show you how I do my on-camera look. And in the back, I kind of split it in half. And again, it's still a tiny bit damp underneath. Um, in a perfect world, the hair's all dry. The ideal situation for me would be to wash my hair the night before I have to be on camera and let it dry by itself, not use the blow dryer at all. And then in the morning, do this part. And this is the most important part, of course, because it's really gonna smooth and curl my hair and control the direction that my hair goes in. Uh, but it does take a while and it does take patience. And again, you're going to take very small sections of hair and I just brush it through. And then I take the curling iron and I try to smooth towards the root as much as possible. And then I get to about three quarters of the way down a section and I start to curl it and then finally get the very ends, just a tiny bit. There you go. See that? So I do that all around my hair. I start at the back and then I move forward. So I'm gonna use one brush to just kind of brush it through, get out any more tangles, because of course I've rough dried the hair. So now it's got a few more tangles in it. So again, softly brush it out with the wet brush and then take the curling iron and get the roots first real quick. Go down about three quarters of the way, start to curl and then slowly go down to the bottom of the hair and barely, barely, barely touch the very ends. Boom. Break up, so that's controlled. And now I'm taking, this actually takes all the frizz out of my hair. One way on the roots, then the other way. And it's also important to think about the direction that you're curling your hair. So on this side, I go this way. On this side, I curl backwards. So again, just get to the bottom, barely touch the bottom, and let it go. And that's smoothing my hair out. And you really are curling the middle of the hair, the middle of that strand first, and then you hit the ends barely. Boom, and let it go. Again, we're doing that so we don't damage the hair. All right, we're getting there. And you'll see that at the very end, what I'm gonna do is go over the top layer, because I'll have a little fuzzy flyaways, and I'll do that last and that'll be just the top layer of the hair. Okay, and then this little section is last. This one next to my face, really important because you see this on camera. So I carefully, don't burn yourself. I carefully get the roots, and then again, go away from the face. Don't leave it on for too long, just a few seconds. Okay, so this is what we just did. This is how it looks before. Like all frizzy and fuzzy after a rough drying. And this is what it looks like after it's been smoothed out and controlled. Okay. So again, we do the same thing on this side. This side is gonna take longer because there's more hair here, but here we go. about that. All right, so that took a little while. This is how it ends up. Now there's still some little frizzy parts I can see, so I just take the brush and hit it again. 
either on the places that I missed or I didn't leave the curling iron on long enough, so it kind of frizzed. And my bangs. My bangs are a constant state of flux. Do I put them up? Do I put them down? You might want to just go back today. All right, so there you go. After hair. I just run my fingers through it when it's done to kind of break up the curls. All right, guys. And that's it. That's how I do my hair. Now you know. This is the hair tutorial. So again, my hair doesn't look like this when I wake up in the morning. It's frizzy. It's out of control. It's really thick and wiry and very coarse. So through the shampoo and conditioner I use, plus products that I put on after I take a shower, so some um, protectant, hair protectant, um, then I rough dried it and then I used a wide barrel curling iron to go through it and control the curls. These curls will last for several days with my hair. Um, if I go on camera and it's a really windy day or if there's a lot of humidity, I might put some hairspray in it, but I usually don't use hairspray. I usually just let it go. And so this is it. If you wanna put some shine in it, um, a lot of manufacturers use a great kind of a, a, a kind of shimmer um, or shine spray, you can do that. Um, I don't have anything like that on right now, but I can certainly put it on. And once I figure out my bang situation, um, I will be ready to go on camera. Okay guys, this hair tutorial was your idea. You were sending me plenty of comments to please do a hair tutorial, show us how you do your hair. So now I've done that. Um, I'm reaching out to you guys again. Do you have any other uh, videos you'd like me to do? Makeup tutorials? anything else in terms of fashion, beauty, happy to do anything like that for you guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate your time and attention. And again, post comments down below and I'll see you next time.